All right, so we start off with the dip. The dip is one of the best all around muscle building exercises in existence, let alone body weight muscle building exercises. It's often so great, it's often referred to as the squat version for the upper body. It works so many muscles. It's your chest, your shoulders, your triceps, even your back and core get heavily involved in the dip. The key with getting a good dip is to make sure that all of the joints that we're using in the exercise are in the right place. More specifically, we want to focus on where our shoulders are. The shoulder joint is actually kind of looked at as two different joints. There's the joint where your arm bone, your humerus attaches into the shoulder socket, and then you've got the ability to move the shoulder, the scapular region around as well. You want to keep both of these in mind as we dip. Largely what we want to do is have shoulder stability uh, as we move through our range of motion. We don't want our shoulders picking up by our ears. We want to make sure our neck is nicely extended throughout the dipping motion. The other key, uh, key things that we want to look at is where our elbows are. Sometimes we hear things about uh, elbows need to go straight back with dips or flare out a 45 degree angle. This is one of those things that's more of a personal preference than anything else. Let your elbows go where they're most comfortable, but what we want to ideally do is have a straight line of, uh, not traction, but tracking forwards and backwards rather than having the elbows circle, if you will, as we do uh, the, the dipping motion. Other things to consider are the range of motion itself. At the top of the dipping motion, what we want to have is a full, complete extension of the arms. Not necessarily locking out, but making sure that the uh, elbow joint is straight, uh, the tension is in the triceps, and uh, working nice and hard, good contraction in the shoulders and the chest, as well as your back, flexing your lats at the top. As we come on down, we want to make sure that, again, the shoulders aren't shrugging up, elbows are tracking backwards, they're not necessarily staying in place while the body falls forwards, and going down as low as you're comfortable with. A lot of times you'll hear people say things like, don't go lower than 90 degrees and all these sorts of things. I say use your best judgment. If you're comfortable going lower than 90, go lower than 90. If you want to stop at 90, that's fine too. Use whatever you're most comfortable with. The kick with the dip is that bottom position. A lot of times this is where there's the most tension on the joints and on the muscles and as such a lot of people tend to bounce out of that position. They get low and then ugh, they kind of jerk themselves out of that position. This is definitely something we want to avoid. Uh, it puts a lot of stress on the, the shoulders, the joints, the ligaments, uh, tendons, all these sorts of things and what accounts for a lot of those so-called shoulder injuries that you come about with the dips. This is why I recommend when particularly warming up on your dips, come down nice and slow, low, hang out in that bottom position a little bit. Maybe even shift forward and backwards a little bit in that position, getting used to it and very comfortable in that bottom position. Then smoothly and slowly bring yourself up back uh, into the top position. With the benefit of straps, dips can be done a number of many ways, of course. You can do them on uh, straight uh, bars, you can do them on parallel bars, you can do them on dip assisted machines. Uh, in the, the word of machines, I recommend staying away from those machines where you're seated uh, and you're moving levers in a dipping motion. The dip is definitely a more powerful exercise when your body is physically moving through space rather than moving levers through space. In the interest of keeping things really simple and very effective, using the rings or the handles as you've been seeing here is definitely a bit more of a challenging dip, but it gives us the option of doing the dip in a number of ways, namely uh, a full body dip or having the feet on the ground so that we can use our legs for assistance if need be. Moving the handles a little bit higher means that we have less of an assistance with our legs so that we can adjust the intensity as needed. Speaking of the legs, dipping uh, is one of those exercises that's upper body dominant, but we want to pay attention to where our legs go. 
if you want to get a little bit more of a contraction in the chest and some ab workout, keeping the legs in front of you will have your hips stick back slightly and your upper body lean forward a little bit. Thus, again, we put a little bit less stress on the shoulders, more stress and tension on the chest muscles, and the abs get a little bit of a work at the same time. So those are some of the key points to really making the dip a killer muscle builder. If you have questions, as always, Matt at thefitrebel.com. And in the next video, we'll be exploring our pull-up series. Till then, be fit and live free.